Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Nissan Leaf 40 kilowatt hour. This one is a late 2018. It's actually registered in December 2018. And it's uh, an end connector spec uh, with the ProPilot system. And this one uh, is in the Spring Cloud Metallic, which is, as you can see, sort of a, a mint green metallic. Really nice color, really suits it. Uh, this car's actually sold, but I'm still recording the video anyway, just to uh, make a record of the condition before it goes out. So in the boot here we have got the two charge cables, Type 2 to Type 2 and then a portable charger in there that you can charge the vehicle on a three pin plug and we've also got the Nissan safety kit and the little um, basket things on either side of the uh, boot well there. And then in the pocket here is the uh, pump and gunk for repairing punctures and uh, your tow eye. So sitting inside here we can see the mileage is 16,984 miles and if I just switch it on there and let it boot up we can see it's the 40 kilowatt hour battery we've got a predicted range there of 162 miles that's what I find these can do it's about 160 miles in the summer if you drive them economically uh, this one's also got the e-pedal system, so we've got the one pedal driving there. What basically that is, is regen to the max more than any other vehicle. It's true one pedal driving. And this car has also got the Pro Pilot system on it, which not all of these do, that's an extra. And what that is, is it puts together all the safety systems, so your lane keep assist, your um, radar, and basically if you're on a a road or dual carriageway it drives itself you've just got to touch the uh, steering wheel or well, basically hold your hands on the steering wheel because that's what uh, that's only what the law will allow but the vehicle will keep its keep it in, in its lane um, set the you can set your speed but it will keep appropriate gap from the car in front and uh, will do all the slowing down and adjust the speed and lane keep all by itself. You can adjust the gap as well with the buttons on the steering wheel. But yeah, it's a very nice system. Um, over here we've got the touch screen. We've got DAB radio, Bluetooth of course, sat nav and all the sort of stuff you'd expect including all the charge points and that sort of thing. Um, gear selector down here. This one's got the electric handbrake rather than the uh, foot operated handbrake that um, many of the other leaves have and um, being an end connector spec you get heated seats um, both uh, front seats high and low you also get heated seats in the back you've got the switch there and you also get a heated leather steering wheel which is really nice and it's much more efficient in the winter to heat your contact points rather than heating the whole cabin um, and it really does work and then the seats are this um, fabric and leather or leatherette uh, effect with blue stitching so yeah very nice seats um, really nice interior so um, yeah the end connector spec is just one down below from a Tecna but you still get all the goodies you get on the Tecna you just don't get the full leather interior and if I put it into reverse there we can also see we've got the bird's eye view uh, from above 360 degree camera when you're reversing as well so the charging on these is at the front and under this flap here we have got two charge ports so this is your rapid charging your DC uh, Chadamo port for charging when you're doing a trip in uh, and you want a rapid charge in um, motorway services and uh, petrol four courts and some car parks and then this is your AC charging so um, normally charging at home overnight so uh, these, this is a type 2 port which um, is now the new standard whereas the previous generation leaves have a type 1 port uh, which means you can use this on tethered chargers which will typically have a type 2 connector so normally slow charging overnight rapid charging when you're on a trip this car is also fitted with factory uh, mud guards which is very rare actually and uh, because of that they are body coloured as well and this car was also treated with a diamond bright coating when it was new and it's still noticeable when you wash it you can still tell it's got that coating on there so still doing its job 
So now the condition, it's only done 17, well just under 17,000 miles as I've shown you and it's really in nice condition. Um, but we'll have a walk around and I'll just show you a couple of little things. The alloy wheels are all scuff free, apart from, well they all are scuff free, but this one has got just a little bit of bubbling starting there um, under the lacquer on that spoke. Uh, looking round the front, there's a few minor stone chips on the front which you're obviously you're always going to get on vehicles. Let me just show you the most significant. So there's one little stone chip there. That's just dust. And that's a fly. Oh yeah, there it is. There's three there. Uh, that's about it. There is a very slight indentation very low down here on the spoiler. Uh, but that's not really noticeable until someone points that out. Um, no stone chips in the bonnet. God, that sun is reflecting off the metallic paint there. Um, and yeah, really good condition. There's no dents in the bodywork. There's two tiny little, I was going to say chips, but they're not even chips. Marks in the door here. It's clearly where someone's zip on their jacket or something has caught it when they've got in. Um, but it hasn't chipped the paint. Uh, tiny little mark there, that's not really a scratch yet, that will actually polish out. Looking round the back there's a few couple of little chips, one there and one there in the bumper and one there just where stuff gets loaded in the back of course. There's a little bit of scratching on the chrome um, scuff plate there but of course that's what it's there for to take the chips, uh, take the scratches when you load stuff in rather than the uh, paintwork, so it's done its job. And then looking around here, there's a few fine scratches there, but I'd missed that before, so that will probably polish out, but they're very fine. Um, and you only see them in certain lights. The wheels are all good, tire tread depths are on the website. And looking down this side, yeah, it's all immaculate. Um, and then just looking on the inside, there's nothing really to point out on the inside. It's all very nice condition you'd expect for this sort of mileage. Um, a few sort of dirt marks in the plastic scuff plates there on the side and, and around where your feet are, which you always get on the Nissans. And no matter how much you clean that plastic, it doesn't really go. But that's um, standard sort of stuff on the leafs. And the back is all very clean and tidy as well. And then looking at the front, if I just remove my bit of paper there, you can see the driver's mat is all clean without any wear and no wear at all on the driver's seat as you would expect. And obviously everything works without any uh, fault or errors. Uh, it's also just had a new service with the cabin filter change, uh, the wheels all rebalancing and also an air conditioning service as well. So that's it, I'll wrap this video up. This one's already sold, as I said, and it's off to its new owner this evening. Uh, but uh, if you're interested in one of these, then just join the mailing list on the website, and when another one comes into stock, then you will be notified.